All right, y'all, it's Paul Osmus here, Texman365, 2007. How y'all doing? Please drop a like on this video, man, if you like it. I really appreciate it. This is going to be uh, another one of my rants and whatnot. This one's not going to be as, you know, I guess, I don't know, irritated, I guess. You know, I'm not in this bad of a mood. So, anyway, um, I don't know. There was a coworker of mine that said something to me, and it, it wasn't really bad. It just kind of got under my skin because I know that that's pretty much what's wrong with, you know, with the generation now. Um, she told me a statement. She was like, because I'm a part delivery driver, you know, partial driver, partial manager, mostly delivery driver, but I do have manager duties um, at Pizza Hut anyways. And uh, anywho, she told me, she was like, why do you tell everybody, or why do you sit here and say sir to everybody, you know? Like, man, if I was a manager, I wouldn't be sitting there saying sir to everybody. And I just kind of gave her this funny look like, are you really are you joking with me, right? She's like, no, I mean, I really just, I just don't see why you say sir to everybody, you know? I was like, well, ma'am, I show respect to everybody, you know, no matter what. I'm going to sit over here and I'm going to tell you yes, sir, no, sir, you know, and this, that, and the other. Because I'm sorry, I'm going to respect you no matter who you are, unless you give me a reason not to respect you. And then, even if then, if you still give me a reason to, I'm going to try my best not to disrespect you. You know, I'm sorry. I'm very big on respect. You know, even down with little video games and this, that, and the other. I'm sure you guys understand, you know, you guys have played with me. <clears throat> you guys know how I play. I try to be as polite and respectful to everybody that I, that I can. You know, I've just never really understood. <clears throat> why the younger generation acts like that you know it's like what just because you have power just makes you think that you don't need to respect somebody i mean really that that, that kind of makes me a little nauseous thinking about that it's like really come on man have respect for everybody you know i'm sorry i mean i'm not saying you know go and respect you know like saddam hussein type characters people that are murdering you know massive amounts of people and that are creating genocide, you know, for no apparent reason, just because, oh, you're black and I don't like you, or oh, you're white, I don't like you, which, strange, some odd reason, you know, white, you know, culture is kind of getting a little more persecuted than what it used to be, but, you know, whatever, I digress, that's just not what the topic of this is, but, I'm sorry for the shine, man, it just started coming in on me real good, but, uh, anywho, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for my rant on that one, man. Um, you know, I just, I don't know, man. I just wanted to share that with you guys. It just, come on, new generation. Let's buck up. You know, let's have respect for each other. Let's do things right. You know, let's make a better nation. You know, seriously, let, let's do this together. Because I, I promise you, I'm not going to be able to do it by myself. You won't be able to do it by yourself. Come on. Let's make this a better nation, one person at a time. Let's sit over here and give each other respect. You know, really, you know, don't don't sit here and wait for them to give you a reason to respect them. And this is this said and the other man, just just give them a little bit of decent, you know, decent respect. That's all I say. That's all I say. You know, just treat people like you want to be treated. I mean, that's all there is to it. And if you want to be treated like a piece of crap, then I'm sorry for you. I mean, really, that that just it makes me sick. You know, if if anybody actually would like to be treated like that, and I understand, you know, if you. You don't want to sit over there and, you know, get yourself all, you know, maxed out and whatnot, you know, and sit over there and, I don't know, do what you do, but I don't know, guys. As a nation, we need to band together. We we need to sit over here and be like what we were, you know, back in the day whenever war came around. If something, if crap hit the fan, well, dadgummit, Americans were there for each other. You know, in the World War II, the only reason why we really won World War II is because we band together. And we sat over there and we threw out all of our scraps that we could and even made scraps of metal. You know, just so that our American soldiers can go out there and defend our right as American citizens. You know? And... I don't know, man. I mean, the 9-11 deal, we all came together pretty well. But it seems like right after we figured out that... <clears throat> no, <clears throat> pardon me. That nobody was going to be coming onto our soil to try to beat the crap out of us or anything. We just said, you know what? It's okay. We can just go back to our normal, everyday life. It doesn't matter. 
you know, I can go over here and work my nine to five. I don't have to worry about terrorists. Well, you know what? Terrorists live amongst us too, guys. You know, I mean, really, truly, I know it's, it's, it's terrifying to think of, but you know, we, we got to sit here and band together, man. We have to be a nation. You know, that's the sad part about it is that we've broken apart so much, you know, where it just feels like it just doesn't matter anymore, which on some instances, yes, there are some things we can't control. You're daggone right. You know, we can try to control who comes into our office and this, that, and the other, but all obviously for the past, you know, decade or so, past couple decades, it seems like the Electoral College has been the one who determines who goes into the White House. So, in my opinion, I don't even think voting even matters anymore. That's the sad part about it, you know. But, anywho, this is Texman365-2007, Paul Osmus, signing off here. Please drop a like on these videos, man. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys, man. I try to keep out with as many ideas as I can, man. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, please, like I said, drop a like. I love YouTubers. Peace out.